Hey everybody, how are you doing guys? My name is Riccardo Giorgi and today I'm going to show you the sounds of the direct tone presets from the Choptones Essential Stone X pack. In order to do that, along with the Tonex software, I'm going to use an external IR loader. Also, I will show you the same presets adding different effects in Amplitude 5. The very first information you have to know is that in this very pack you will find 13 Tonex full rig models. And when I say full rig models, I mean the capture of the amp the cabinet, speakers, and depending on the preset, sometimes even pedals. Besides that, you will find eight direct tone preset, which means just the capture of the amp with no cabinet, plus six premium impulse response, which are meant to be used along with the direct tone presets or in Amplitude 5. Of course, for any tone X preset included in this pack, you will find in it the correspondent Amplitude 5 preset. In this video, along with the Tone X software, I'm gonna use the Choptons IR loader. I like to use this IR loader a lot because it has a few very interesting features. For instance, it has a parametric EQ, a high pass filter, a low pass filter, and more importantly, it allows you to load two different IRs and to blend them in any way you want. If you are interested in this IR loader, you will find the link in the description box below. And now let me show you how the Choptons Tone X Direct don't sound. Okay, at this stage, a fair question could be, why should I prefer to use the direct tone models? The answer is flexibility. Let's say I like one amp capture in particular, but I may want to experiment with different cabinets, with different speakers, or maybe in order to achieve the sound that I have in my mind, I may want to run two different IRs at the same time. And this is something that in Tonex or Amplitube is just not possible. I like this solution because it's like having the best of both worlds. The premium amp captures from the Choptons Essential Tonex pack and the flexibility of an external IR loader. All right, here we are. Now I'm about to show you, first of all, the presets I used in the opening song of this video. What you see here is this... Uh, uh, Choptons uh, Boogie TC50DI, of course, comes from the direct tones. This is the capture of a Mesa Boogie Triple Crown 50 watt. The IR I'm using here is made after a Bogner 4x12 cabinet loaded with both V30s and T75 speakers, mic'd up with a Shure SM7B. This is the air loader I was talking about earlier, and it's very, very easy to use. Let me show you. You just click here and you go whatever you want to go, Essential Stone X, IRs, and uh, Boogie, I got this 4x12, yeah, and that's it, it's loaded. Of course, you have a second slot. As I was saying earlier in the video, you have this parametric EQ for both of them, a high cut, low cut, um, and of course, you can blend in any way you want the percentage of IR A or B. And in this case, since I'm using just one IR, it's of course 100% left, meaning the A IR. And this is how it sounds. <laughs> very tight, very real. I mean, this is just real. This is the capture of a real amp. Mm -hmm. 
All right, this is the second preset I used. I did use this one for the right channel rhythm guitar. The amp is this Spawn, it's the capture of a Spawn Nitro 100 head, boosted with an Ibanez TS-808 overdrive. <laughs> A very chuggy, sustainy rhythm or lead tone, why not? The input response for this one is made after a Bogner 2x12 cabinet loaded with Celestian G12M speakers. Preset number 3, this is the one I use for the slide solo, the first one. And the IR I'm using for this is made after a Marshall 1960 4x12 cab with vintage 30 speakers, mic'd up with an SM57 and an MD421. And without the slide, it sounds like this. <laughs> I'd say this is a medium gain tone, but it's perfectly usable in almost any context. All right, the next preset is still a lead guitar tone. This is the capture of an Angle Savage head. And the IR I'm using for this lead tone comes from an Angle 4x12 cabinet loaded with Celestion V30 speakers and mic'd up with a Shure SM57 and a Sennheiser MD421. And this is how it sounds. <laughs> Pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, those were the guitar sounds I did use in the opening song, but in the direct tone sections we have more than that. There are a few very, very interesting captures in there. This is the capture of a 1979 Fender Super Reverb, and the impulse response I'm using for this tone is made after a Vox AC30 Brian May signature amp, so a 2x12 amp, loaded with Celestion Old Nico Blue speakers and mic'd up with a Neumann U87 and a Royer R1. It sounds like this. Alright, this is the last direct tone preset, and it's the capture of a Friedman JEL100. And the impulse response you are about to hear now is made after an orange 2x12 cabinet loaded with Celestion V30s and G12M speakers. All of this mic'd up with a Sennheiser E609, and it sounds like this. <laughs> the models I played so far were, of course, for me, very, very good, well-made, perfectly usable in any recording, in any context. That's top-notch stuff for me. But in the Tonex ecosystem, anything is so dry. I don't have the possibility to add effects. Maybe just a bit of reverb here from this lot, but what if I want a delay? What if I want a chorus? What if I want 
whatever effect you want to use. If this is the case, all we have to do is to load those exact presets in Amplitude 5. And this is exactly what I'm about to show you. All right, we are in Amplitude 5. As you may see right now, I just loaded into it one of the Direct Tones presets I showed you earlier in the video. For this section of the video, I did choose three 85 presets, a rhythm guitar tone, a lead tone, and a clean tone. This one is the rhythm guitar tone. And of course, if you load the same uh, chop tones preset in Amplitude or in Tone X, it sounds identical. With the only difference that you have the possibility to use effects in Amplitude 5. So let's take a look to it. We have uh, a noise gate and we have also a bunch of pearls already loaded but I'm not gonna use them and maybe, I don't know, just a phaser. Let's go for a Van Halen-ish sound. I have the pedal section, the amp section, the effect loop section. I have a graphic EQ, uh, which I turned off and uh, a delay. We have the IR section. And once you load with this, uh, plus symbol here. The six impulse response you find in the Choptons uh, Essential Stone X pack. Everything is already set up. You have to do nothing. You just have to load the IRs here in this folder and the correspondent IR will be automatically loaded into any direct tone preset. After this uh, IR section, there is a volume pedal, a delay, and a reverb. I just kept the reverb because since it's a rhythm guitar tone, I don't want too much of ambience around it. Now let me show you this lead tone I chose to load in Amplitude 5. This is the Angle Savage preset I already showed you. Amp-wise and cabinet-wise is exactly the same as the Tonex version. Those effects are, you know, pre-loaded, but of course you can change anything you want. Let's say I don't want uh, this phaser and uh, I want something else. I don't know. Uh, mm, Tremolo, why not? You have it, okay? You, you can tweak and change any effect you want in any point of the signal chain. Since I am a simple person, I just want to use delay and ambient effects on lead guitar tones. So you're going to hear the Tonex Captor along with a delay in the effects loop and the IR. This is the same IR I used before. An angle 4x12 cabinet loaded with Celestion V30 speakers and mic'd up with an NSM57 and a Sennheiser MD421. And I'm keeping a tape delay um, at the end of the chain, EP echo, like the Echoplex, and a room reverb. This is how it sounds. <laughs> show you a direct tone preset of a clean sound. This is probably my favorite clean tone in the Choptons Essential Stone X pack. It's the capture of a 1979 Fender Super Reverb and uh, as you can see it has, it looks like a Fender amp and you have the uh, effects section before the end, I wanted to use a little chorus on this one and more delay. I love delays. And uh, let's turn on a little bit the level. And uh, this is the IR section. And as you can see, it automatically loads the correspondent inputs response. This is the very same IR I used before on this clean sound in Tonex. And after that, I'm adding uh, more delay at the end of the chain 
and uh, a plate reverb and let's turn on a little bit the level because I just want to have a lot of ambience for this clean tone in particular. Thank you so much for watching. If you need extra information about it, just visit chaptons.com. And if you haven't yet, feel free to subscribe to the channel and to activate the notification bell. I am Ricardo Giorgi and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!